welcome to Board Games with Niramas. And again, we're here at Essen Spiel. It's me and Draco and Rob. And we're going to talk about Epic Card Game. And I'm excited about this because this is a game that I don't really know much about. So uh, let's hear it. So uh, Epic comes in a little box, uh, just like Star Realms. Uh, costs 15, um, uh, so not an expensive game at all. Uh, and Epic captures uh, the play feel of a trading card game, but in a one purchase, everybody plays off the same collection uh, um, model like Star Realm. So uh, gives you that trading card game feel without the trading card game price tag. Um, and uh, the Epic set is awesome. You get 120 different cards in Epic. And when I say different cards, I mean every single card has uh, different art and different game mechanics. Uh, it, and, uh, and there is just absolutely beautiful, beautiful work on the cards. And it just goes on and on. 120 unique cards uh, in the game. And then it also comes with uh, eight uh, of these token cards. Uh, and they're double-sided, so the wolves have uh, zombies on the back and the demons have uh, humans on the back. So a card might say uh, put a human token into play. And you can use anything to represent a human token, a scrap of paper or anything, but the game comes with these really nice uh, looking tokens um, uh, that, you can, uh, that you can use. Um, so uh, 128 cards in all, 120 game cards and those eight token cards. And as I said, every single game card, different art, different game mechanics. So just uh, the, the, the cards themselves are, are works of art. You can go through and just you know, spend a long time just looking at all the cool different, uh, you know, different pieces of artwork on, uh, on the cards themselves. Um, the uh, gameplay, Epic plays like a trading card game. So you have a starting score of 30 health. Your goal is to reduce your opponent's health down to zero. Um, you've got these uh, uh, champion cards and action cards. So the champion cards have a, have a sword with an offense value and a shield with a defense value. When you attack someone with a champion, they can block it or they can let it hit them. Um, and if, uh, if it hits them, they lose health equal to the, the sword value. If they block it with their champions, then your guy fights their guy and they deal damage to each other equal to the uh, equal to the swords. If a, uh, if a champion takes damage equal to or greater than their shield in a single turn, then they die and they go to the discard pile. If they don't, if they take partial damage, they'll heal at the end of every turn. So uh, it's all or nothing to take out a champion. And then there's these action cards, um, or event cards, excuse me. Event cards, when you play them, you follow the instructions on the card and then put the card in the discard pile. So the, uh, so the event cards are one-time effects. Um, the champions you can play on your own turn, the, uh, 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 the events you can play on your own turn or your opponent's turn. Uh, and there is a cost to play cards that's in the upper right-hand corner here, and that cost will always be zero or one. Each turn, each player in the game gets one gold, and uh, you can play exactly one card that costs a gold every turn. Nothing costs more than a gold, so from the very beginning of the game, you'll be able to play any card in your hand. So in a, a lot of uh, games use like a, a ramping resource system where you start with uh, no energy and you build up to higher amounts. Um, and so a lot of times a game will end before you can play your cool, powerful cards. Um, and uh, or you'll have games where you've got um, you don't have enough resources to even play the cards in your hand. So your opponent's playing a game and attacking you and doing stuff, and you're just sitting there looking at your hand and doing nothing. And then the game ends, and it's uh, you know a really bad experience. But sometimes in those games, you'll get both the resources you need and the cards you need together at the same time, and the game will have all these cool decision points where you're deciding on stuff and your opponent's deciding on stuff. And the uh, and that shapes the outcome of the game. 
Epic is like that every single time. Every game you have uh, a handful of cards you can play and so does your opponent. You're gonna be doing cool, awesome stuff, so are they, and so you get really cool back and forth and decision points in the game. Um, the cards that have a zero are free to play, so you can play as many of those as you want. Um, and so each turn you'll be able to play one card that costs a gold and as many free cards as you like, uh, keeping in mind that the champions you can only play on your own turn and the events you can play on your turn or your opponent's turn. Some champions have a special ability called Ambush that allows them to be played when events can be played, so some champions will be able to be able to play on your opponent's turn. Um, and uh, this game can be played um, any way you can play a trading card game. So for people who played trading card games before, you'll be familiar with formats like sealed, draft, constructed, pre-constructed decks. All those formats can be played with Epic, and most of them can be played out of this one little deck. So um, because uh, we don't have card rarities. Um, uh, you get every single card in the in the in the base set. You get in every single box, um, and we don't have card cost uh, issues. Um, uh, our epic cards are extremely well balanced. So every card is meant to be equivalent in power to every other card. Now they'll be better or worse in different situations. Um, so uh, uh, if, uh, as an analogy, um, you could ask what's a better tool, a screwdriver or a sledgehammer, well that depends. Are you trying to install a light fixture or take down a wall? So, um, so basically some, uh, so the epic cards are very different, but they are uh, going to be equally desirable in different situations. Yeah. Um, and so, because of that, there are, all the cards are interesting and cool. And a lot of like trading card games, they'll make really weak cards that are just terrible, and their only purpose in life is to fill up the pack so that you spend more money by, trying to buy the cards that actually do stuff you want. Yeah. Um, but in this, every card's good so that you get a ton of play out of a pretty small number of cards. So you can shuffle this up and deal 30 cards at random to each player and play a game. Uh, that's, that's, uh, cool. um, uh, that's a format we call Sealed 30. So you're getting 30 cards and, and, uh, and playing. Um, you can do Sealed Deck with more cards. So you can give a player like 40 or 50 or 60 cards and then they build down to a 30 card deck. So you're making decisions, yeah. which cards do I want to keep, which cards don't I want to keep. You can also do booster drafts where basically you simulate a trading card game pack by taking your collection, shuffling it up, and dealing uh, piles of, uh, of 10 or 12 cards to each player. And in a draft, play, you look at the cards in your hand, you pick one you want to keep for your deck, you put that in front of you, you pass the rest of the cards left, take the pile that came to you, you keep doing that, and then um, you either draft exactly 30 cards and then you're ready to play, or you can draft more than 30 and then trim down to 30 and then play. Um, and we, all have, we have a phenomenal two-player draft format called Dark Draft, where you break the cards up into five-card packs. You look at your five-card pack and you pick one card that you want to keep, and that goes face down in front of you, and then you pass the four cards to your opponent. Then you get the four cards your opponent passed to you, and you, uh, you look at those and you pick two cards out of that pack that you want to keep, and you put those into your drafted cards, and the other two cards are burned forever. They're set aside and nobody uses them, but your opponent doesn't see which ones you've uh, you drafted. So um, there's a lot of hidden information, so they don't know what your first pick was, um, and they know all the cards that you've gotten on your second pick they've seen, but they don't know which of those two that you took. You do that 10 times, and you have exactly 30 cards, and you're ready to play. Um, and a uh, ton of skill and ton of fun in the drafting process, and you can start playing right away. You can also do uh, pre-constructed decks right out of this box, where you take 30 cards of a color. Um, there, are four, there are four sets of 30 cards in here, 40, uh, 30 yellow, 30 red, 30 green, 30 blue. You can make a deck with any combinations of the colors. A lot of the cards will get more powerful if you match colors but you can play them all, uh, mix and match any way you like. Um, but if but the one color decks have actually been tested and designed to play against each other. We call that format 
uh, pre-constructed decks. So for example, the yellow cards are the good alignment, the red cards are the evil alignment. Um, you could take all the red cards and play them against all the yellow cards and you'd have a good versus evil pre-constructed deck battle. Um, and um, you can also, if you have extra cards, um, so if you get multiple sets, you can do a format called Full Constructed. Full Constructed is the only format that you can't play out of a single box. In Full Constructed, each player um, can play up to three copies of any one card, and they design a 60-card deck. And for each free card that costs zero, they need two cards that cost one of the same color. So those are the Full Constructed rules. So for players who like playing constructed uh, trading card games, you can, by buying multiple sets of Epic, you can simulate that format as well. So some players buy just one set and play everybody out of the same box, that draft, that seal, that pre-constructed deck, super fun formats. Other players are like, oh, I want to play constructed, and they'll get three sets and they can uh, and they can build constructed decks at home. So so it sounds amazing. So it's, it's something for everyone. It's like, depending on your taste, you can... Yeah, in the for if you like trading card style play, amazing play in this game. You're going to be able to play awesome cards um, and uh, very powerful effects from the very beginning of the game. Um, very skill testing um, and uh, and lots of different ways to play. If you thought if you thought about playing trading card games, but they're too expensive, or you used to play trading card games, but you're too busy to keep up with them now. Epic is phenomenal, and if you are currently playing tra trading card games, this game has awesome play, and you can get this little box and just stick it in your in one of your card boxes, break it out, and, and have some really fun drafts. It's basically a Highlander draft cube that we built for you with the entire game designed to play that way. Really awesome fun. And uh, there are expansion packs for Epic. Uh, we've got a bunch of different ones out. Um, these are non-random, so on the back of the pack, it'll tell you what cards are inside. If you get this particular pack, you have one of each card that comes in it. Um, there's no randomness involved. So um, if you buy one of every pack, um, then you would have every card in that set. Um, or you can buy just individual packs and add them to collection. Um, we The newest set we have out for Epic uh, just came out now here at Essen. Uh, is called uh, Pantheon. And uh, the Pantheon set, uh, in addition to 12 brand new cards, each one with new game mechanics, new artwork um, for, uh, for your deck, it also comes with an extra token and two uh, deity cards. So in Epic, you are playing as a god battling against a, another god um, for uh, um, uh, to uh, resolve they re the gods resolve disputes between each other by battling through proxy in the mortal world. Um, uh, their uh, their minions fighting each other. Um, in uh, in these packs, you you can play as a. A specific demigod, god, or elder god from the uh, from the epic uh, pantheon, and you have a bunch of extra cool powers um, that uh, that you can use. So there's optional cards to allow the play as those specific uh, those specific deities. Um, so you can. Uh, set those aside and just add the cards to your uh, regular deck or you can use them with uh, or you can play with the new deity cards that come in here and each one's uh, got two different deity cards so if you get one pack it'll you'll have two deities of the same power level you can play against each other all right well that was that was really interesting and um, I'm sure to be be checking this out more and, and do some video on the channel as well of epic because this is a, sounds amazing because I mean for me it's just like I like this kind of games and this kind of play but I don't like to sit at home and, and construct my deck beforehand, so... Yeah, so yeah. Like the, the, those draft formats and sealed formats I was talking about would be perfect for you. Yeah. And with a lot of games like this, where even the, the games that are designed without the, 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 rare, the card rarities and stuff, where you buy everything in a box, most of those tend to focus on the constructed play. And constructed yeah. is great, and, and Epic supports constructed, but we feel that... The, some of the most fun of the trading card game category are those sealed and draft formats. Those are so much fun, and Epic is uh, is perfectly balanced for for those uh, for those types of play. Incredibly fun. All right. Well, thank you so much, Rob, for this uh, fantastic presentation of, of the game. 
And thank you guys for watching. We'll be back with more async coverage. Maybe have some, want to add something? Uh, one other thing, we've, uh, uh, for people who've tried the Star Realms digital app, we actually have a uh, epic digital app that is currently in alpha. Um, if you go to the uh, White Wizard Games uh, uh, page and click on the store link, you can, uh, you can add to the alpha. And uh, very soon that's going to be coming out in beta as well. Um, the app has a, uh, a campaign you can play through where you start out with a random set of 30 cards and as you win encounters you, you gain more cards. You can modify your deck as you play. It has an AI you can play against. Uh, and of course it has a, a PvP play where you can play against your friends, specific challenges or, uh, or, um, uh, or random matches uh, with players from around the world. Um, so we've got a, a really cool digital app that's going to be coming uh, uh, out in uh, the beta version, which will be available on Steam, etc. Is going to be coming uh, uh, pretty soon, probably uh, probably this uh, uh, this summer coming up. Um, uh, but if you want to get in early and you don't mind helping us work through a few bugs, you can uh, you can buy the alpha version uh, on our uh, on the White Wizard Games Store. Okay, and I'll put the link in the description as well, so you can find it there. Uh, just go in and try the alpha. Okay, so thanks so much, Rob. Have a good evening or morning or whatever you're watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Board Games with Niramas is sponsored by Alara Games in Sweden.